Hi and welcome to this video looking at Cubase 9's new included media. So we're going to take a quick look through Kaleidoscope and production grooves. As ever the easiest way to access the included content is in Media Bay. Uh, and as you can see them all here, this is all the included media that comes with Cubase down the left hand side. And the thing that is new is the Kaleidoscope uh, pack and production grooves. So we'll take a look at production grooves first. Um, as the name implies and as you can see from the filter at the top, we've got drum percussion um, with a few different styles. Name pop and urban, but I think there's a great deal of crossover and it's you know, a lot of it is... Uh, down to personal opinion rather than anything absolute. Uh, we can see we've got loads of MIDI loops and then you've got some uh, VST presets as well. So these are the presets which the sounds use and when you load them up. So let's take a look at some of these. Quick listen through. So we've got some really nice MIDI programming in there. You know, the kind of thing that at a first glance will convince people that it's not a computer. Uh, so nicely done in these ways. Etc. But if we look at these other second Broadway ones. We've got some. nice additions and progressions to go through and by far the best thing about all of these is because they're MIDI is you can edit them afterwards because obviously with a sample loop unless you get particularly lucky with the way things are, are organized um, it's it's really difficult to do a lot of editing to identify things or maybe change the rhythm of a particular part of the kit uh, whereas with these all we have to do is double click them so let's take number one just double click that and it appears in our track the project so it creates a new instrument track we can see we've got groove agent se loaded up with the appropriate sounds etc and we've got all the midi in there and you can see there's nice variation in terms of note positioning um, velocity etc and it's it's really really well done you know but because they are midi you can play around with these so if you decided you just like the hi-hat you can just take the hi-hat out of this you know get rid of the the rest as easy as that and then you've just got the hi-hat So you can see there's some real finesse that you can play around with there. Uh, there's, in this case, we have got 450 different um, things in total. If we look at MIDI loops, there is 400. So we've got 400 different MIDI loops, generally in packs of eight. So that would be 50 different grooves for you to experiment with. covering a fair range you know I think what's really good about these again is because they're MIDI you're not stuck with the sounds you're not stuck with the programming there's lots of flexibility and you've got some quality programming which has been done already for you to play around with going to go through a few more of these as we go but you get the idea but they've you know uh, uh, and because as ever they're nicely integrated with Cubase most people have them but because you're using the built-in well, included plugins um, if you make something with this and then share it with somebody else it, it's all going to work which is a powerful thing if you're in that kind of a situation Okay, so we get the idea with that as far as production grooves is concerned and then we come on to Kaleidoscope. So in the case of Kaleidoscope we have 580 things. Now this tends to be 
certainly a great deal of them are as you can see scrolling through there there's a whole load of uh, sampler tracks and then we've got audio as well so you get to play these they load up once you have loaded the first one up they tend to load fairly quickly so we've got some interesting sonic experimentation potential with these Yeah, some are more subtle than others. Some are less. And these are these are a good way in to experiment with the uh, sampler tracks. So again, double click that, that will load us up the right instrument, which in this case is a sampler track. So you can get to see what they've done, uh, how they've used the sample, etc. You know, in many cases, it's just a straight play through a sample, but in other cases, uh, there will be a fair bit more to it. Uh, there are audio files in here as well. Again, obviously all previewable, but there's, there's plenty of atmospheric things to play around with. I'm sure you could come up with something excellent just from these, but you can see there's a whole load of stuff in here, and then we get down to more so again if these are the kind of things that are uh, ringing your bell when you hear these then there's loads and loads of experimentation to be done with all these because there are again hundreds of them so in terms of what we've got we've got um, 335 audio files and 245 uh, sampler track sounds so you've got plenty of plenty of stuff to play around with and again this content is is included with cubase so it comes with it so when you get cubase 9 uh this will be with it um yeah there's there's i think these are often neglected by a lot of people because they they just maybe don't even don't even look down here but yeah there's there's plenty of stuff that you can experiment with and you know lots of song starters and inspiration that you can take from there so that's the new uh media which is included with Cubase 9, but obviously you would have a great deal of these uh, as well included because you may already have them if you've got an earlier version of Cubase. So all of this has really has been done in the context of what's new in Cubase 9, but there is a whole load of other stuff which is included. Um, so if you've not spent any time in Media Bay playing around with these, maybe now's the time to have a go. If you've enjoyed these videos and found them useful, then subscribe by clicking on the MTT logo in the bottom of the screen now also visit musictechtuition.com for tips, tricks and advice, as well as information about the books I've written, The Complete Guide to Music Technology Using Cubase 9 and Music Tech A-Level Using Cubase 9. These are a great resource whether you're just getting started or you've been working for a few years now. The information in them will allow you to take your sequencing, recording and production to the next level and give you a well-rounded grounding in all areas of music technology.